Hi folks, Bob Dale for Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell motorhomes and we sell an occasional trailer. Last two or three years, those of you who watch our sales know that we have literally sold hundreds and hundreds of diesel trucks. We like diesel trucks because A, our customers like them a lot. We like them a lot and they are such bargains. You know folks, we list trucks that are new in the wrapper, we list trucks of all forms, all descriptions, we try to tell you what you're buying. Today we're going to list a nice looking truck, a really nice looking truck that runs and drives perfectly. I'm going to pick it to death. It's, it's just a nice truck. It's not a concourse truck, but if you just need you a good truck and a good looking truck that everything works on, you ought to look at this truck closely because this would make a great truck, make an everyday driver, pull your boat, go to hunting camp, whatever you need to do. And if you need one on the work side, it'll do anything you need to do. We're gonna list this truck. Dan bought it. I like it a lot. We've just been looking it over. It's a 2005 F-250. 2005 Ford F-250 XLT. Turbo diesel engine. The diesel engine has got the EGR delete done. It's only got 250 something thousand miles. Rides and drives perfectly. Nicely equipped. Got tow command. It is, of course, the FX4 four-wheel drive package and a good truck, good looking truck with a good stance. We're gonna show you everything about it. By the way, you wanna see what a bargain you can get? In 2005, MSRP was $44,000 on this truck. I don't see how they sell new ones based on what we sell them for and what, how little money you can buy a really nice truck. Plus, let me point out something else to you before we get started on this video. When we sell you a truck, folks, these 2005s, 6s, 7s, 8s, something like that. These trucks have appreci depreciated basically to where they're going to be worth it the rest of their lives. Now, we're going to sell this truck at such a bargain. You're going to sell it uh, no with no reserve. We're going to sell it no reserve. We don't allow shield bidding. When this auction's over, somebody's going to, somebody's going to own this truck. On the other hand, you can call and tell me what it takes to buy it. We'll give you a figure. You can bid that through eBay. You'll have eBay protection and all that, and we'll sell it to you. We routinely do that. But the, I just wanted to show you the truck, show you. But the point I'm making is, you can go buy you a new truck, and this truck right now is about $60,000. Guess what in five years it's worth? You know, I mean, you can't even contemplate that. I can't picture that in my mind. On the other hand, what we sell this truck for, to you, whoever buys this truck, I promise you, if you take care of it just like it is, had the EGR delete done, no problems anywhere about it, runs and drives great, five years from now, you know what you'll be able to sell it for? About what you gave for it. And let's assume, worst case scenario, it costs you $50 a month. Let's say five years, it appreciates three grand. You've driven this truck for $50 a month go buy you a new truck like this, you're not going to get any better service. It's going to smell better for about 10 days. And then guess what? You're going to lose you about $55,000. And that's the difference in buying a good diesel truck, a solid one, with a good engine and everything works the way it should. But anyway, let me show it to you. It's an 05 F-250. Got a good look to it. Got a, uh, see right here. Current Mississippi inspection 2015 only. There. The tires, folks, are a set of Coopers. They're not brand new, but they're an acceptable, useful set of tires. It's on it. They'll take you wherever you want to go. Oh, by the way, look up here. Someone took every light in this truck and replaced them with LED lights. That's pretty cool, LEDs. actually. LEDs. We can't find anything on the truck that doesn't work. Now I'm sure you can nitpick it depth and tell me it's got high dollar mats in it. It's a non-smoker's truck. I don't smell anything. You can see the headliner up here. LEDs look, up there. Look at the carpet, son. Got the original mats. We're going to leave these in here. Got oh, we may not. Carpet's perfect underneath it. Do what? said we may not. Oh, okay. Uh, they said he may steal them. them. Stereo, CD. The glasses are heavily tinted, the, the glass is all tinted. But you can see it's not picked up, not beat up. An acceptable set of tires, as I said. I'm gonna open this door, but you can look right here, see how clean that is. Look at the back seat. Got the cup holder, 
You can see I got the flat floor thing flipped up. Carpet's good. Let's see if I can flip this up. Yeah. This is handy if you want to move stuff. You just flip it up and load your stuff and it's protected. A good toolbox. That doesn't look like much there, folks, but everybody wants a toolbox. Go buy you one. Spend you a few hundred. Uh, it's a local truck. You can see absolutely no rust whatsoever. None. No rust issue. And no spare as usual. The bed is not beat up. It does have a turnover ball. It's got some, a few scratches right here. You may or may not need the turnover ball, folks, but whoever you sell it to probably will need it. And if you ever did need it, that's going to save you several hundred dollars. Those things are expensive to put in. Look down the side here. Now, unlike that last truck, this hitch will cost you probably uh, way over a thousand yeah, installed. Yeah, put in. Look back here, Dan, showing you. Did you get a picture of the headliner? I did. I hate headliners with cigarette burns and all that. Truck's got a good look to it, folks. As I told you, it's not a concourse truck, but we're not trying to get a concourse price for it either. Well, there's where our boys, that's their trash can. <laughs> Gee, my goodness. Let me get that out. All your books are in here. You can look up in here, look in the side, son. I always look in here, folks, because these old trucks that have been used as farm trucks or work trucks or site trucks, you can't get that mud and dirt out from in there. I don't care how you clean on it, you can't get it out. There's none in this truck. XLT Super Duty. Yep, 250. Got a bug catcher. Got a good look to it. Got a good stance to it. Dan says it runs and drives just the way it should. Cranks right up first time every time. No smoke, none of that. But we're gonna list it. No reserve, we're gonna sell it. When the sale's over, we're gonna sell it. So if you've been wanting a good truck that you don't have to mortgage your future for or get six co-signers to buy, you need to look at this one because it will work for you. It's just that kind of truck. It's an 05 Ford F-250 XLT Super Duty turbo diesel engine with the EGR Delete done. It's an FX4 four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive works just like it's supposed to. Got the LED lighting system, the turnover ball. Got everything that you'd want and you need in the truck. Everything works, windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, and all that. As I said, just a really good truck, and it's certainly going to be a bargain for the money. So if you need a truck like this, give us a call. We'll talk about it. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601 218 1223. 601 218 1223. Answer my phone all the time. You can call me evenings, mornings, whatever. If I don't answer my phone, I'll call you back. But an 05 Ford F 250 turbo diesel Ford, folks, four wheel drive, XLT. A, a, a good truck. It's certainly a stunning truck for the money that you're going to be able to buy this for. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it so much. And we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive, but before I do, I want to point out a couple of things to you. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how this truck came into us. Haven't touched it under the hood. But the main thing I want to show you is that this truck has absolutely no blow-by. Now, that's not to say some smoke coming out is not that big of a deal as long as it's not puffing and chuffing and everything. This one doesn't even do that. Um, and more importantly, though, you can set this filler cap down on the tube. It doesn't blow off. If it blows off, it means you got a piston ring letting engine compression get into the crankcase. And you got wore out engines, but not an issue here. Also, it does have the EGR delete done, so you don't have to worry about the that major 6.0 issue is the EGR cooler, but it's been taken care of on this truck, so no worries there. The alternator <coughs> has been replaced at some point. The radiator has been changed at some point. You can see the engine's cold right now, so it's at the cold fill line. Plenty of antifreeze. 
hear how it runs perfect. And we'll hop in. You can see that I'm doing this video with a cold engine. So I'm going to back out of here and then pick it back up. Okay, accidentally hit the wrong button. We're backing out now. And uh, as always, you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other. So it's liable to be shaky in the video, but this truck rides and drives just great. Uh, don't let these miles worry you. This truck does have an EGR delete kit on it. So uh, no EGR issues. And as you can see, it cranks up and runs perfect cold, so no injector issues. This truck's ready to go. You keep it serviced every 5,000 miles with forward filters and fuel filters every other oil change with forward filters. This truck will last forever, and I mean, that's, that's really not an exaggeration. You keep it maintained, and you won't have to worry about it. Uh, I don't know if you can see in that mirror, I'm getting on a little bit, but no smoke. Uh, no rattles, no exhaust leaks. Um, tires are in good shape. Goes down the road just like it should. There's one tiny little crack right up top. Little rock pick, I should say, not a crack. And a little rock pick right there in the windshield. But other than that, windshield's perfect. Uh, I'll get a little speed built up here. Up to 65. I just turned the cruise on. Put off the gas, cruise works, turned it off, power mirrors work, um, wipers work, everything works on it. It's got the AM FM stereo CD, it does have the tow command. Um, it's got all you need on it. It's a, a FX4, so it's got the limited slip differentials and the skid plates. Um, so it'll get it done off road because. You know, whatever truck you buy, if you're not buying a truck with limited slip differentials, you're not buying a four-wheel drive. You're buying a two-wheel drive truck with one wheel in the front and one in the back that's pulling. Um, I don't know if you can tell from my aggressive braking maneuver just then, but this truck doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. doesn't pull, period. I'm not touching the wheel. We're driving straight ahead just like we should. Um, Headliner is not sagging. There's no holes anywhere in it. The um, interior doesn't have any odors. It hadn't, you know, doesn't smell like a smoker or a wet dog or anything like that. Um, again, like I said, it does have tow command. The um, only thing I can nitpick is there's one tiny little uh, hole. You can see it there in the seat. Now I'm going to try and get it sewed up, but my guy that used to clean up for me and could sew a little hole like that up isn't with me anymore so I may not I'll try and sew it but if not when you get it home get your wife to sew it it's really it's it's nothing complicated you got to do you just get a little tan thread and sew it up and be done with it but the um, as you saw the driver's seat of course no rips or tears. The carpet's in great shape. It's got these uh, WeatherTech style floor mats, heavy duty mats, expensive set of mats. Steering wheel has absolutely no wear. Uh, let's see. Ashtray, of course, not smoked in. The um, dash doesn't have any cracks in it. See all the headliner nice shape they've converted these bulbs and these lights to LED bulbs which is kind of cool I thought uh, you can see it's got the four-wheel drive you just turn the switch and there's four-wheel drive and there it goes it does have automatic headlights which you don't usually see on an XLT but uh, it's got them all the I just turned the lights on all the dash lights work I would not hesitate to get in this truck and drive it anywhere. If if you want, fly in. We'll pick you up at the airport. No extra charge. We'll 
come take you back to our office, do the paperwork, let you get on the road, make it a real smooth, easy deal. Or if you'd rather have it shipped, we'll be glad to work with whomever you want to ship it. We recommend DAS or a lot of people use U-Ship. That's an eBay company where people bid on your shipping job. And um, if you're not in a hurry for the truck, that's the cheapest way to go is U-Ship. We recommend them uh, highly just uh, you know, as long as you make sure they're a licensed, uh, bonded, and insured transporter, then you won't have any problems with U-Ship. So, that being said, you're not going to be disappointed when it rolls off the transport truck. It's just as nice in person as it is in these pictures. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. If you want to make an offer, uh, want to talk price, give us a call. 601-218- 1223. We appreciate you watching our video, hearing everything we have to say. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. I almost forgot this window sticker. You can see $44,000. I just wanted to go over it with you. Roof clearance lights, and they've since been converted to LEDs, $55. Forged aluminum wheels. Receiver hitch, tow command, privacy glass, body moldings, FX4, sliding rear window, block heater, shift on the fly. Got it all right here. Originally sold in a mint, Louisiana. Super clean, nice truck. Original window sticker and everything. No issues. Give us a call. Thank you.